Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into thought-provoking topics that challenge conventional wisdom. Today, we go going to explore a concept that's often taken for granted, kindness. We are told that we should be kind and put other people's needs ahead of our own. But does anyone tell us that being too kind and caring can be dangerous? Well, today, we're going to uncover the surprising truth. In a world where generosity is abundant, we don't always receive what we give. Being excessively kind can drain us, both financially and emotionally. Could being too kind even put our own lives in danger? Prepare to be surprised by the bad things that can happen to you when you're kind. Today, I'll reveal eight alarming consequences of being too nice and share for powerful strategies to prevent people from taking advantage of you. Let's start with number one, having unrealistically high hopes for people. The Stoics believed in accepting things as they are and not depending on others to make us happy. Giving without expecting too much in return helps us practice emotional separation and maintain a calmer mind. However, when we give everything we have, we subconsciously expect the same level of selflessness from others. Unfortunately, this can lead to disappointment, fatigue, anger, and sadness. Moving on to point number two, the importance of moderation in giving. The Stoics emphasized acting in a way thought is balanced and aligned with reason. While kindness is admirable, excessive giving can have negative consequences. When we constantly put others' needs ahead of our own, we neglect self-care and compromise our own well-being. It's crucial to find a balance between helping others and taking care of ourselves. Number three on our list is the risk of enabling unhealthy behavior. When we're overly kind, we may unintentionally reinforce negative patterns or enable destructive habits in others by always coming to the rescue. We deny them the opportunity to learn and grow from their own mistakes. It's essential to distinguish between genuine support and enabling behavior that perpetuates dependency. Next up, number four, becoming a target for manipulation. People with malicious intentions can sense when someone is excessively kind and use it to their advantage. They may manipulate our emotions, guilt trip us, or exploit our willingness to help. It's crucial to be aware of these tactics and set healthy boundaries to protect ourselves from being taken advantage of. Now, let's talk about number five, the risk of burnout. Constantly putting others' needs ahead of our own can lead to immense stress and burnout. We may find ourselves overwhelmed with responsibilities and unable to meet our own needs. It's essential to prioritize self-care and set limits on our availability to prevent burnout and maintain our own well-being. Number six, compromising personal values and boundaries. Being too nice can sometimes lead us to compromise our values or sacrifice our boundaries to please others. We may agree to things we're uncomfortable with or allow others to disrespect us. It's crucial to establish and maintain healthy boundaries, communicate assertively, and prioritize our own values and well-being. Let's move on to number seven, attracting toxic relationships. Excessive kindness can attract individuals who take advantage of our generosity and kindness. Toxic individuals may exploit our willingness to help, drain our energy, and create unhealthy dynamics. It's important to be discerning about the people we allow into our lives and to prioritize relationships that are mutually supportive and respectful. Lastly, number eight, neglecting personal growth and self-improvement. When we're constantly focused on helping others, we may neglect our own personal growth and self-improvement. It's essential to invest time and energy in our own development, goals, and aspiration. By nurturing ourselves, we can become stronger, more capable individuals who can make a more significant positive impact on the world. 
Now that we've explored the potential dangers of being too kind, let's shift our focus to strategies for preventing people from taking advantage of our kindness. I'll share for powerful strategies to help you maintain healthy boundaries, protect your well-being, and continue to be kind without putting yourself at risk. Kindness is a beautiful trait, but like anything in life, moderation is key. By understanding the potential risks of excessive kindness and implementing strategies to protect ourselves, we can continue to spread kindness without endangering our own well-being. Remember, the best way to make a positive impact on others is by taking care of ourselves first. Thank you for joining us today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to help us continue to explore thought-provoking topics. Until next time, stay kind, stay balanced, and stay safe.